Hey everyone, Michael here again at RBM Crypto. Happy happening day. It uh, only comes around once every four years for Bitcoin. Um, essentially what that means is the mining rewards are slashed in half. Uh, this is done to adjust the inflation rate for Bitcoin. Uh, and yeah, it's been an exciting day. Uh, I've been following a bunch of different online streams. I think I saw Tone Vey's stream had about 15,000 people watching at one point with 40 or so guests. So definitely a lot of excitement going on right now in this space. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the next year to see where the price of Bitcoin goes. So for today's video, uh, I told you guys in the last couple videos that I would be getting a brand new Tracer Model T and I'd be using that for demo purposes for a bunch of different videos. Uh, it finally came in today. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys to show you what comes inside the box and how to set up the Tracer device for the first time. Okay guys, so what I did was I purchased a brand new Tracer Model T and I purchased the extension cable. I think this is a two meter cable. This is a, definitely a must because the default cable is maybe only like this long, right? So it doesn't give you a lot of like wiggle room to you know maneuver when you're on your computer. So definitely get the extension cable. I think it's about five euro or that's probably, I don't even know, seven to eight dollars US. Um, so definitely a good purchase to get. Okay guys, so here's the Tracer Model T. If I slide this open real quick and open up the package, you can see right there is the brand new Model T and that's what we'll be using today to set up for the first time. So I'm just going to take it out real quick here and I'm going to skip past the accessories portion. Basically what's inside is a bunch of papers, uh, tracer stickers, your small cable to attach to your computer with. And the one important thing that is inside are two copies of a space for you to put your name and your recovery seed inside of to take care of and basically guard with your life because this is everything. If let's say your tracer device stops working, uh, it's stolen, or you know, for some, you, you put it through the washing machine and it stops working, this recovery seed will allow you to get back all of your funds on a new device. So if my old device stops working, I order a new one from Tracer, I put in my recovery seed, it'll allow me to get back all of my money. So don't lose this, okay, guard it with your life. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to make this tutorial as fast as possible for you guys. So here's the Tracer Model T. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cable that came with your device, plug it into the bottom here after you remove the sticker and just plug it in and then put the other side of the USB into your computer. And when you do so, you'll see a welcome screen here, basically telling you you're ready to rock. So at this point, go to tracer.io on your web browser and then go to wallet, then select Tracer Model T. Basically it's gonna tell you to do the exact same I just told you, remove the sticker and plug it in. Hit continue. And now it's gonna tell you it's time to install the device firmware. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just select install firmware. And right now you'll see it installing on the screen and you'll also see it installing on the device. So this shouldn't take very long. All right guys, and as you can see here, it just finished doing the update. That'll take about 15 to 20 seconds. And now it's gonna reboot. And when it does so, it will move on to the next phase of the installation. So this is what you would do if you lost your device and had to use a recovery seed. This is what you would select. Um, but for today's video, we are creating a new wallet. So we're gonna select create wallet and then we're gonna select create with single backup. And as you can see here now on your device, it's gonna ask you, would you really like to create a new device? And you're gonna select the check mark. And now your device is gonna tell you, hey, we need to make a backup. As you can see here on the top screen, it's in the yellow little bar there. I'm not too sure if you can see that or not, but basically it's saying we need to create a backup. So now here on the screen, you can see your tracer is not backed up. We need to create one. So what we're going to do is select create a backup in three minutes. And now this is the recovery seed that I was telling you guys about. So you're going to select, I understand and I agree, and then hit continue. And right now it's going to tell you on the screen, don't make a digital copy of your recovery seed. This is why they give you these little pamphlets right here so that you can put your recovery seed inside. That way only you have them and there's no potential for you to be hacked. If you take a picture of your recovery seed, if you you know send an email to yourself with it in it, if you save it on your computer, there's always the possibility that your computer gets compromised, you get hacked and you can lose all the funds that are on your device. So never take a digital copy of your recovery seed. So at this point now, as you can see, it says, I understand on the bottom of the green. I'm just going to select that real quick. And now the 12 words that are your recovery seed will pop up on your device. For security reasons, obviously I can't show you that, 
but at this time, make sure you write down all 12 words. Okay guys, so basically after you write down all 12 of your recovery seed words, it's gonna ask you to basically um, confirm that you have written them down in order. It might ask you for three of them. Um, just put down uh, which ones it asks you for. And then after you're done doing that, it'll say you've done verifying. Move on to the next part. Your backup is done. And now you su successfully back it up. So if at any time you need to recover your device, you have your recovery seed written down, make sure you put that away somewhere safe uh, that nobody can find it. Um, basically, even if somebody gets your hardware wallet, they won't be able to access the device without your pin or without your recovery seed. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next step here, which is continue, set up a pin lock. So every time you log into your device or you plug it in, it's gonna ask you to put in your pin. This is obviously for added security, um, which you're gonna to wanna to do. So it's gonna say, would you really like to um, add a pin here? And you're gonna say yes. And then enter a new pin. Uh, this can be anything you'd like. I'm just gonna choose mine here real quick. And if you need to, I would say uh, write this down as well. That way you don't forget if you're a forgetful person. So once you put your pin in, you can write it down. I'll do mine later. And then you'll it'll say you successfully uh, put your pin on your device. Just hit continue. And it'll say good job. Now your pin is set and uh, you'll hit continue. And then at this point, if you want, you can uh, name your device. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna say uh, demo Trezor Model T, or I don't have space for that, so let's just say demo Trezor 2, and hit confirm. And then it's gonna ask you to confirm on your device, is that what you would like to name it? And I'm gonna say yes. I chose a wonderful name, apparently. <laughs> hit continue, and then if you want, uh, at this point you can bookmark in your browser the website, um, which you can do by just hitting, uh, what is the short here? Control D and then hit done. That way you are making sure that you're going to the right Tracer website. You know, there's obviously phishing attempts from, uh, always people online trying to get to your funds. So that's the safest way to do it. And then after that, hit continue. You can put your email address in now. If you want to get up to date with our newsletter, I already have multiple devices set up. So I'm just going to skip this step. And that's pretty much it guys. Once you continue here, you're all ready to go. Just hit finish. Um, as you can see here now, my device is all set up and ready to go. If I want to receive Bitcoin, I just go to the receive tab here real quick. And as you can see, my address bar is grayed out. What you're gonna wanna do to access this is hit show full address. And then your device is gonna prompt you. It's gonna show you the exact same address. And it's just asking you to confirm. Is the address on the device the same that you see on the screen? If it is, you're gonna hit the check mark on your device. And now you'll have full access to this address. So once you receive Bitcoin on this address, this address will change, okay? Um, it receives a fresh address every single time you want to receive Bitcoin to your Tracer device. I believe this is done for security and it's a feature that I, uh, I really like a lot. Okay guys, and uh, this UI is the exact same across the board here. Like if I were to go to Dash and just load up my Dash wallet, um, it's going to give me the exact same layout. So receiving is the exact same. And if I want to send funds, this is as, it's as simple as this. You put in the address you want to send it to, the amount of Dash you want to send. It'll tell you the fee and the price that you're sending, and then you just hit send. And then it'll ask you to confirm on your device that you'd like to send this uh, amount of money to, or this amount of Dash to the wallet that you've put in, and you'll just hit confirm, and then you're good to go. Um, if we go back to Bitcoin here real quick, you can set up multiple accounts if you'd like. Um, so let's say I want to have one account, you know, for, you know, personal and one account for business. You could just hit add account and you can make multiple accounts. As you can see here, it's great because I need to actually make some transactions first, but uh, that's pretty much exactly how you'll do that. And that's it for this unboxing video of the Tracer Model T guys and how to set it up. I hope it uh, was a good instructional video for you guys. If you're liking the content you're seeing on the channel, do not forget to like and subscribe. It helps us grow. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.